Hey guys, Nick here, and these are the entry-level G2 SE gaming headphones from Edifier. Now, the G2 and G4 product lines have several iterations of headphones. Most have RGB lighting and a form of surround sound with USB power. These, on the other hand, are the most basic, most budget edition. So let's see what you're getting for $35 and if they're a good buy for your specific use case. Stay tuned. So pretty standard unboxing. Inside you see the headphones wrapped inside a sandwich bag. And the first thing that I grabbed was this audio splitter, which you can use for plugging into your PC for both input and output in the new normal of endless Zoom calls. Also inside is the microphone, which is fully detachable, which I like, especially at this price point. And you also get this handy, albeit bulky, remote control for volume with an analog scroll wheel and a mute on-off switch. The headphones are attached to the 3.5 millimeter cable, and that comes in at a little less than five feet long. So once you pick these up, right away you notice that they're unapologetically plastic. There's a blend of both glossy and matte finished plastics, but make no mistake about it, you won't be getting aluminum, steel, or other premium material here. And that's really to be expected for $35. For that build quality, you'll need to open up your wallet for another $40 to $50 and upgrade to the G4TE line. Now, because there's no steel or aluminum here, the headset is super lightweight, coming in at around half a pound, which is gonna make those longer gaming sessions a bit more comfortable than having metal sitting on top of your head. Each ear cup is labeled with right and left letters, and they're nicely padded with a squishy, 100% genuine pleather material. And what I noticed right away on the box and in hand is that they appear to be open back, as each ear cup has a nice open mesh design on the outside. Now for most of the other G series, this is where the logo also lights up with RGB lighting. Here, you're not getting that. However, I found if you're really missing the RGB lighting feature, you can just hold up your gaming controller next to the logo, and it appears to light up blue for just a few seconds. Despite the generic pleather, the headphones don't actually cause any discomfort, even for those epic late night gaming sessions. I've had them on my head for hours at a time on both the Switch and PS4, uh, on a wide range of both online and offline games, and I have no complaints when it comes to comfort. The headband also contains the same faux leather padding, and it has some flex, but I wouldn't overdo it in fear of snapping them, especially with their all plastic design. But if you're just popping these on and off your head for normal everyday use, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just don't go crazy bending these for your own stress test at home. Now let's talk about connectivity. Now I'm old school and I actually like the 3.5 millimeter headphone style because I can plug them directly into the PS4 controller and be ready to go in seconds. The cable doesn't cause a tripping hazard since it's not connected to the console itself. And overall, I've really just found plugging headphones into the controller is easiest. That said, you are going to miss out on some premium features such as surround sound, dedicated software and RGB lighting. So let's talk about sound. These headphones sound really good. For $35, I wasn't expecting to be blown away, but yes, they sound great. They have 50 millimeter drivers and the sound they produce is not at all tinny or overly bassy. These are a nicely balanced gaming headset, which work well for a wide variety of games. Testing these out with music, the headphones have a surprisingly wide soundstage, thanks to that open back design. And you can hear nice instrument separation with acoustic guitars and background vocals panned super wide left and right and the bass, drums, and vocals chugging along in the center. Why does this matter? Well, with this wide soundstage, you'll be able to hear bad guys trying to sneak up on you on your multiplayer games. And you shouldn't suffer from audio fatigue thanks to that balanced sound. The sound does leak quite a bit, which is to be expected from any open back style headphones. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to game on the DL. The microphone quality is top notch as well, and you can hear that now. Super clear, and these work great in a pinch if you're getting a work call while trying to level up your character low-key during work hours. Again, I love that the mic detaches, so I often use these without the microphone, playing some offline RPGs. And as I said, the soundstage is wide enough that everything from the bad guys sneaking behind you to orchestral sections of Skyrim sound amazing. All in all, this is a great budget-friendly headset if you're not looking to necessarily game competitively with Ultra 7.1 surround sound, flashing RGB lights, and all the bells and whistles of a premium $75 to $150 gaming headset. These are a great option if you just want to sit back, relax, plug in some headphones to your console of choice, and game the night away. They're cheap, comfortable, sound great, and work right out of the box. Not much else you can really ask for for $35. So I'll leave product links down below in the description to their whole G suite, so check them out. Drop me a like on this video, it helps the algorithm, you know that. And comment down below. 
And sorry, if you didn't like the video, YouTube overlords removed that button, so shoot me a DM instead to show your disdain. As always, this has been Nick from Quick Tech. We'll see you in the next one. You take care now.